Hi students, hope everyone is fine and safe. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to my new video. And today's video is about another interesting topic in Unit 3. We are going to see De Morgan's theorem. So far, what we have seen is we have seen Boolean algebra and what are the rules of Boolean algebra. Based on that, we are going to see De Morgan's theorem. This is a very simple question, but it is a very important concept in Unit 3, right? So we are going to see De Morgan's theorem. And there are two theorems, theorem 1 and theorem 2. You will see the theorem and the explanation of it and the proof of that particular theorem. Okay. So, we will start with first theorem. So, according to this theorem, you can see this is the expression. That is, xy the whole bar is equal to x bar plus y bar. Right. The complement of the product variables. Right. The complement of product variables is equal to sum of the complement of individual variables. Okay. We can also say that or you can also say in this form that is the complement of two and the variables is equal to right. The complement of individual variables. Right. That is equivalent to the R function of the complement of the individual functions. Okay. You can also say that as AB whole bar is equal to X bar plus Y bar. Right. So this is theorem 1. Okay, and you show the proof of it, right? And and up uh, and from this expression, you can see that you can you can say this this particular expression can be called as NAND operation, N A N D. That is and and another not gate. So it is an NAND operation that is equal to the individual complements, correct? Right. So this is the R function, right? So the R function, and you have something called this is a not function and this is a not function. Correct? Right. So, what we can say is we can say it as bubbled R. We can say it as bubbled R. Okay. So, NAND is equal to bubbled R. That is this expression. And we will show, show this expression in gates. Okay. You can see here. This is the expression I am writing in A into B. The whole bar is equal to A bar and B bar. As I said, this can be called as NAND and this can be called as bubbled R. Okay. And while expressing in gates, that is A into B, right? A into B, and we represent as NAND gate. So we have a, this is AND gate and this is a NOT gate, right? So you can represent this expression as NAND operation. And similarly, this one, you can see here A and that is inverted. So you'll get A complement and B and that is inverted B complement. And the sum of this two, that is you're going to R this two function. So, this function is called as bubbled R, okay? And you can also represent this gate as like this one, okay? This is called bubbled R function, right? And the proof of this theorem, you can, you can definitely prove this particular theorem, right? You can see here, that is what we have to express is, we have to prove A dot B whole bar is equal to A bar plus B bar, correct? Right? So, now how will I prove it? Right. So, consider 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 as the inputs. Okay. And now, what you have to do is you have to find out A into B first. Okay. Instead of going directly to A, B, whole bar, just, just determine A into B. What is A into B? 0 into 0 is 0. Correct. And 0 into 1 is 1. And 1 into 0 is 0. Sorry, it's 0 into 1, it's 0. Right, and 1 into 1, it's 1. Correct? Right, so A plus B, A into B is 0, 0, 0, 1. Right, and you have to find out, what you have to find out? You have to find out AB bar, whole bar, right? So, that is the complement of this function. That is, so it is 0 here, so it is 1. And 0 here, it is 1. And 0 here, it is 1. And 1, it is 0. Correct? And then what we have to do, we have to prove this one. That is equal to A bar plus B bar, right? So, first we have to find out A bar. What is A bar? A bar is the complement of this function. So, if it is 0 here, it is 1, right? And it is 0 here, so it is 1. So, it is 1 here and it is 0 here, okay? And it is 1, this is 0, correct? That is A bar. And similarly, B bar. B bar is B, that is 0 here, so it is 1. And it is 1, and so here 0. And it is 0 here, so it's 1. And it's 1, so it is 0. Correct? Right. So, we can find out A bar and B bar. Now, you have to sum this one, right? So, how will you sum? 1 plus 1 is equal to 1. 
and 1 plus 0, 1, and 0 plus 1, 1, and 0 plus 0, 0. Correct? So now you see that this particular expression is equal to this particular expression. Right? So this is De Morgan's first theorem. Okay? Right? So the complement product is equal to sum of complement of the individuals. Okay? And we will see what is De Morgan's second theorem. Right? Just opposite to that. That is the addition, the complement addition of two variables is equal to right product of individual complements. Okay, you can see here the complement of the sum of variable is equal to the product of complements of the variable. Right, and similarly the complement of two or more odd variables is equivalent to and the complement of individual variables. Right, you can write in either way. Okay, but you have to understand that that is. The sum of whole complement is equal to the product of individual complements. That's it. Right? So, how will you prove this one? Now, once again, how will I write this expression? You, you can write it in the A, A and B terms as well. Right? So, how will you express this expression in gates? Right? So, we can say this A plus B is an R gate. Right? And there is a complement. So, it is a NAR gate. Right? So, you can explain this as a NAR gate. That is equal to Right, x bar and y bar, right. So, x and y is a NAND gate, right. And there is individual complements for it, right. So, what you can say, you can say it as bubbled and, bubbled and. Just the opposite of the first theorem, right. In first theorem, what we saw, it is NAND is equal to bubbled R. Here, it is NAR gate is equal to bubbled AND, okay. And now, you see this, this is the NAR gate and this is bubbled AND, okay. Right, that is A plus B the whole bar is equal to A bar to B bar, right. And how will you write an expression here? A in A plus B, that is the R gate, right. And this is the R gate and this is the NAT gate, right. So, you can express it as Y is equal to, you can express it as A plus B whole bar, okay. And similarly, the right hand side, how will you express? You have to express A as the inverter, uh, right. If you take invert, if you connect the inverter, so it will get the A complement. And B, and again it is inverted, it is, you will get B complement, right? And if you combine this two, you will get the, you have to use the AND gate, right? Right. And you can express this complete gate in a bubbled AND, right? So, as I said, you can use a NOT gate here. So, it is called as bubbled AND, okay? And now, once again, what you will do, right? You have to prove this using truth table, right? So, once again, you will take the same, true, same input, 0, 0, 0, 1. 1, 0, 1, 1. Correct? So, what is that you have to prove? You have to prove A plus B whole bar. That is the complement is equal to A bar into B bar. Correct? Right. First, what you have to do? You have to determine A plus B. Correct? So, we will determine A plus B first and then we will take the complement of it. Okay? Now, so 0 plus 0 is 0 and 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 0 it's 1 and again 1 plus 1 is 1. Right, this is A plus B. And if you take A plus B whole bar, we have to take the complement of this one. Correct? So, it is 0 here. So, it is 1. And it is 0 here. So, it's, sorry, it is 1 here. So, it is 0. And it is 1 here. It is 0. And it is 1 here. It is 0. Correct? So, this is A plus B, the whole complement. Correct? And similarly, A complement, B complement, which is nothing but this one. Correct? So, it's 0, 0, 1, 1. So, I am writing it as 1, 1, 0, 0. Correct? So, the A complement and similarly B complement, the complement of this one. 0, 1, 0, 1. So, I am writing it as 1, 0, 1, 0. Correct? So, if you multiply this one, what you will get? 1 into 1, 1. 1 into 0, 0. And 1 into 0, 0. 0 into 0, 0. And you can see this particular expression is equal to this particular expression. Right? So, this is De Morgan second theorem. Okay? So, today what we have seen is, we have seen De Morgan's theorem, which is very, very simple theorem, right? We have seen two theorems and before this, we have seen what is Boolean algebra. We have seen what are the rules and regulations of Boolean algebra. And today we have seen two important rules. That is, the first theorem says that the NAND is equal to bubble R, right? The product of, complement of product is equal to, right? Equal to the R function of, 
the individual complements, correct? And similarly, the second theorem says that the opposite of that one, right? So it is the sum of both the complements is equal to product of individual complements. That is second theorem, correct? That is what we have seen. That is not is equal to bubble and, okay? So this is very important and you can easily write this question, okay? Thank you, students.